Hmm? Oh, hello again. What's up? Well, that's creepy. You're here about the black fox? Wait, what do you mean? Hmm. I knew the woman who was killed. She was... my aunt. Huh? What? Huh? Wait, if she's your aunt, she's gotta be. She has to be. Yes, that's correct. She was Uncle Taka, I mean, the Thane of Saronia's wife. Hang on. If that's a coincidence, it really is creepy. Tell me, why do you need to find that black fox? You wanted to share its lives? Well, good luck with that. I figured. Not the sharing type. It doesn't matter. We should still try to get our hands on its prismarium. Then why not let me help you out? I can take you to where the fox is. Refia, are you sure? Yes, I'll be fine. And Rain and Lon will be there. Whoa, whoa. Let's not forget I'm going to. Oh, of course. Goes without saying. Mm-hmm. That's more like it. Okay. Well, you be careful out there. Hmm. Oh, and you don't have to turn into a cat and follow us this time. I know, I know. Just get going. So, uh, where is this black fox hiding out? It should be an icicle ridge. There's a path, separate from the one that leads to the harbor. It's a little harder to find. Well, why don't I go on ahead? See you at the entrance. Over here. Dude! We never would have found this. This is the place where he lost her. Uh, yeah! uh, what the? It's coming from over there. Hurry! <laughs> Why? That mirage? Why do I loathe it with every fiber of my being? If you were my Uncle Taka, then of course you would despise that mirage. Hmm? Is that Refia? And you? Uh, hiya. <laughs> Once again, I feel the pull of destiny. Boy, am I really not glad to see you. Tell me, Refia. Why is it natural? I would hate that thing. You can tell me first. 
Who am I really talking to? Me, a knight of the Bahamushan army. But this flesh I inhabit belonged to the human you so lovingly called Taka. His body? Then you've possessed him? So, then, where is he? Dead for quite some time now. <gasps> Monster! Is that what you consider honor? Oh no. Those are the rules of this world. The human body is a weakness, the door most easily breached. <sighs> Enough of this. You will answer my question. Why do I bear such incredible enmity for that mirage? That guy whose body you're camping out in? His wife was killed by that mirage. If you look at that fox and feel hatred for it, it means his memory... No, his soul still lives on inside of you. That's absurd! No trace of him could remain. And yet, the hatred inside of me, it is unmistakable. <laughs> oh, I see! Another twist of fate! Yes! Of course! And your arrival is one of the resulting kinks! I see it! Fascinating! Let us test this portentous bond and see just how fast it holds! Uh-oh. If we let that karmic kook find the black fox and kill it, won't that ruin all of our chances? Ugh. Let's go after him, Rain! Right! We beat him to it! This the culprit we're after, Seraphy? Well, it does look exactly like Tama does in her more regal form. All right, then let's imprison it! Oh, but don't forget that it has multiple lives. For now, forget about imprisoning it. You should focus on defeating it. All right, then that's what we'll do. Lon, you ready? Right on! And then it can give us its soul! <laughs> All you need now is a hood and a scythe. No trouble at all! That wasn't so bad! Given way to something far worse. That's Uncle Taka. What he would feel. My uncle would never hurt anyone, not even a fly. And he never tried to take revenge for my aunt. No matter how much you hate someone, when you lash out, it just leaves you empty. He always said so. Empty. So this is how it feels to be human. Watch out! If it's like Tama, we have to assume this thing has got nine lives. Well, how many does it have left? No wonder the thing wouldn't die, no matter how many times I've killed it. <laughs> so be it. Lon, these shiny things must contain the Black Fox's lives. Dude, nice! So, it seems this body, and with it my soul, must expire. It's down to two lives. That's all you left it with. You must have had a grueling fight. And yet I have nothing to show for my great struggle. Nothing at all. 
And now, it seems, my time to leave this world has come. If I may ask you one favor. See, this man is buried alongside his beloved wife. <laughs> okay. I will. Did Refia leave already? Yeah. They're going to hold a proper funeral in Seronia. Gotcha. Well, Refia's a strong girl. She's gonna be all right. Anyway, I suppose I should head over there and make myself useful. You going on all fours? Like I told you, it's very simple. Cats get around? You know it. So, who wants to go back to Ninewood Hills and bring that girl the QB lives we got like the bad mom bombs we are? Sounds good. to acquire its souls? Huh? Oh no. Did we botch up the job? Hmm. It's a little unorthodox. But this could work. What do you mean? Since you brought two, we'll use one to spin a new thread and give Tama the other so that she'll have a life to spare when the time comes. Cool! Whatever that means, let's do it! Okay. I'll do my best to keep the changes to a minimum. You don't have to stay here and watch. Um, are you sure? It's a lot to explain, not to mention the long ritual. And since time is going to change, you won't remember anyway. Hello, Rain. Anybody home in there? Huh? Maybe she's so tired of your antics, she finally the flatlined. Look at the what you've reduced her to. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have never anticked once in my entire life. You don't even know what to what antics. <gasps> Rain? The, what's the matter? Huh? What? I I was just really happy to see you was all. That's weird. Oh, it's okay. Time for what? Huh? Sorry. Felt like the right thing to say. The way you're working your Keeper Keisters off. I figured it was time for a final battle. My bad. You're right. Let's go find Win and round up the summoners. I think that we're ready. So this is it. Oh, dude! I am so excited! Drum roll, please. Ready to start the operation? Fine then. Come see me if you party poopers change your mind. Needs what now? Who's so
should have known it wouldn't be easy. Huh? Seraphy? Were you looking for me? Huh? Oh, no, no. Since we're both pixies, I thought, hey, I may as well ask her about transfiguration. Hmm? Transfig? Why now? Now that Tom has learned to transfig and get all godlike, I can't help but feel a bit... I don't know if I'd say jealous. Uh, it's more like, really, it's just a pang. Just a smidge of micro-envy. Just a smidge, huh? <laughs> it sounds tough. You have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-level mirages. I'm not sure I'm cut out for it. Non-combatant and all that. <gasps> huh? You want to help her out? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> How's this? Maybe we three can help you out a smidge. Really, dude? That's sweet. Uh, I did not mean to channel Lon just now. Hmm? Wait a sec. We three? Never mind. Now, Siren, call in a high-level mirage. Slow down! I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, it'll be fine. Right? Hey, who are you talking to now? <laughs> hey! When did you get on board? I guess that means Wynn is on to us, huh? She definitely knows what's the up. But how the come I have to work my butt off just to help Seraphy? That doesn't seem right at the all. Well, just pretend you're helping us collect mirages. Except I don't think yeah, this yeah, mirage is too on. happy about being collected. just now is because Lon and Rain were there to help you out. Huh? Well, they can do that? Sure can. You must have sensed them there. By your side? Hmm... I don't know what's going on, but... the important thing here... is that I won. Right. Now that my prismarium has gotten just a little more robusty, I expect to do great things. Lon... Rain. Good. What now? Who's so... Without purpose must be destroyed. Huh? What do you mean some of the black mages have stopped moving? How could that happen? I thought you were all training together the whole night. A mirage? came to the training grounds threatening to destroy us all? Does that mean it's time? Hey, remember that conversation we had? About what we're doing in this world? What our purpose is? Our memories only go so far back, you know? To the moment our paths crossed with Rain and Lon. I think... Maybe the reason we came to this world was so they could find us. And once our job is done, it could be our lives are supposed to end. Thank you. Yeah, 
You're right. However we started out, that's not who we are now. Together, we'll drive that creature away. Golems without purpose must be destroyed. <sighs> Tell me, are you the Mirage hunting my friends? What do you want? Just leave us alone! Tools do not have a choice. Tools that are no longer useful must be destroyed. So much for trying to talk this one out. Come on! We fight! These golems need to be taught a lesson. Vivi's not a tool. He's a person. Yeah, ah! and more than that, he's our friend. Victory! <laughs> that golem said that we were just tools to be disposed of. But that's not true. We chose to fight, and we managed to beat him. We are nobody's tools. Am I not right? Edgar said something to me once, and now it makes sense to me. Don't you see? We don't need a purpose to live. Life is the purpose. <laughs> You've come a long way, Vivi. Right. Come on. Let's go. We all have a job to do. It's up to you and me to keep Figaro's people safe. I know exactly what to live for now. Another day. Hmm. <sighs>